And we'll get started. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another ASEA Global Expansion Team Zoom. We have an incredible Zoom plan for you tonight. Dick and Dr. Dick and Nancy Walker will be our guest speakers. And we're going to be talking about what ASEA is. And ASEA is so much more than just a company marketing a product. That's what our subject's going to be tonight. We're going to go for a half hour. So uh, thanks so much for joining us. This is this is being broadcast on our Atomic Wellness Facebook page, as well as being shared to the ASEA United Facebook page. And it's also, uh, the recording is also on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. And uh, Dick and Nancy, thank you for joining us tonight. Well, it's always nice thanks. to talk with you, Cindy. You and I have a good time talking and I think everybody's gonna enjoy the topic. Yeah. yeah. A half hour may not be long enough, but we'll do our best. That's right. Well, let's let's talk about it because you know people associate ASEA with many things, and some people just associate ASEA with one or two things. And ASEA is a lot of things, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, what really made an impression on me, and I'll I'll just start by saying this because it's in the forefront of my mind when I heard Chuck Funky on this, it was a CIA, uh, or was it a, a CIA-5 yeah, or was it a, a CIA-5? Okay, so he was, <clears throat> he was talking about how most network marketing companies are born. And he said, usually people have the idea that they're going to do a network marketing company and then they, they go try to find a product. And he made the, he very clearly delineated that uh, ASEA is different. He's, you know, we are set apart. We are not, we are not, when people ask you, what do you do? I, I don't think it's accurate to say I work with a network marketing company because that's just how we uh, distribute our product. What we are is a cellular health company. In fact, the one and only total cellular health company in the world. No one else has what we have. Network marketing just happens to be how we market our products. So I look, Dick and I have always looked at it that way, but it really reinforced our vision for this company. And we're not out just selling some product. We're out changing the world. We're changing people. We're changing their health, their relationships, their uh, finances, and and just by taking the product, I think, and getting healthier, change your outlook on your life. Absolutely. I mean, if people know how this company was started, after they turned down the huge offer from the pharmaceutical company, their question was, how are we going to get this to the people? And so they decided to release this incredible discovery that's never been available before directly to the people through the people. And so the best way to do that was word of mouth, which is how the company originally got started when they gave it to that, those 40 people and then checked on them two months later. And those 40 people had grown into 135 people in 20 countries asking for more. So they knew that people naturally shared this product when they saw how beneficial it can be for their own health. And so it was a natural step to take it into the network marketing distribution um, business model because that's how the company was really started. And the, the crazy thing is that most people don't really understand the network marketing business model, but when they, and including Virtus Norton, when he first got started, he didn't know, he didn't understand this model at all. But when he did his proper due diligence on the business model of network marketing, he was blown away and said, oh my goodness. I mean, this is a very efficient, cost-effective way of you know getting a product to the marketplace without a huge markup, so. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So it is, we work with a biotech company, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that that initial um, foray where he shared the product like that, um, I don't know if he was thinking about um, this business model, this compensation model, distribution model, whatever you want to call it, as a possibility. And that was one reason he wanted to see if it would work. Um, and it certainly did. I think it was more on his mind was um, what can this product can do if we just give it to some people and 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 get their um, get their responses, get their reports. So I think that was really primary in his mind, but I, I can't believe that that he wasn't impressed by how quickly and rapidly it spread just through word of mouth, person to person. And so um, if he hadn't done that, I don't know um, what he would have done because he wasn't a network marketing guy. He was a corporate guy. He came from Kraft Foods where he was 
uh, a, a big wig in their marketing division. He developed marketing plans for new products like Country Time Lemonade. So he knew how to market from a big corporate standpoint, but he didn't really know how to market from this standpoint, but his initial foray certainly was successful. And I, I think it's, you know, when somebody asks what's a SIA, you know, I certainly don't buy, don't start by saying, well, we're a network marketing company, because like Nancy said, that's just, that's just the method by which products move and people get compensated for, um, for recommending it. Um, that's part of, of ASEA, but it's not what ASEA is. ASEA, um, and I wrote down some notes here because it rolls off my tongue pretty easily when I'm just talking to somebody, but you know, it's a biotechnology company in Pleasant Grove, Utah that, um, that pioneered uh, a new technology called Redox uh, and develops cellular health products largely around um, that technology and that science. And they've been a leader in that and will stay a leader in that. I think they, they own, to my knowledge, they have the patents on the only known way um, to stabilize these molecules so that they can be commercialized, so they can put them in a bottle, send them out to um, people who want to use them. Um, and over time, they've developed other ways to do that with the, you know, with the Renew 28 um, and, uh, and now the, uh, the other product lines that they've come out with. And they've branched into new applications, not and, and it, I, I should go back. We are not a cell signaling company either, because that is now only part of what we do. Our foundation product, you know, um, in the blue bottle is a cell signaling um, product. Um, but, but that's not what the cell performance products are. But the cell performance products are based on redox. And so redox is a much broader topic than redox signaling, but redox signaling is a unique category within the science of redox. Um, they're not the same. There are no redox signaling molecules in our cell performance products, but they work on the basis, the cellular biology basis of redox to, to accomplish what they accomplish. So um, the sky's the limit for what the company can do with that. Um, and that I think is really important, both from what the products can do for people, but also what the where the company can go in the future as a business. So, so, so ASEA is um, a company, a biotech company that's marketing a, a redox technology. You know, both in a in the cell cell performance division that we just launched, as well as a cell signaling division, which we started out uh, with. And then, of course, we have our skin care and we have our nutrition divisions as well. And it's also a business for people that want to start a home-based business and not only learn about this themselves, but also share this with other people and earn the, you know, the time and the, the, and the financial freedom that a business like this can offer with, you know, with a steady, consistent work ethic, right? What, what else does it see? It's a business. It's a, an educational movement to really teach people about what Redox is. What else is a see? Yeah. It? See? You know, you know what? I just yeah, want to comment if I could, because I just, I'm thinking so much about Virtus Snorton. It was just his birthday, but um, I think he was surprised at what network marketing really is, which is uh, the benefits of ASEA. What, I think we've all heard um, Tyler talk about Virtus when he says the last 10 years of his business life in ASEA was the most rewarding. And I think it took him by surprise all of the extra benefits that, that the actual learning of this business model can bring you. And that is what we're talking about. What is ASEA? What is our vision? And I just wanna point out that visions change. Everybody who joins this company has a vision when you join and your vision will change and it will grow. And I think Virtus saw that and experienced that. And that's what moves him so much is seeing people grow. And, you know, so I'll, I'll try to make it short, but when you join ASEA, 
you come from, maybe you have a job, maybe you still have, have this job and we sort of um, pigeonhole ourselves into our vision of ourselves. So as much as everything is a microcosm of a macrocosm, your vision about a sea is gonna change, but also your vision of yourself will change and grow. So we, we come into a sea and we think we're some one thing, like I was a dental hygienist and I owned a retail, then I owned a retail store and that was who I was in my own mind. But then you get into ASEA and you realize that you are free to move and grow in all kinds of different directions. You become, your compassion comes out, you become a caretaker of other people, you become a business person, you become a, a leader uh, and, you, and you become you know, proficient on, zoom or whatever you become you, you learn all these things and that changes you and then you know your vision grows along with that your vision of who you are and what you're doing in the world yeah i've, I've heard uh i've heard um and and we you know what we have really is what's called next level marketing because asia true to its intentions um in the very beginning was to refine this business model to come up with a um, uh, a, a, um, a better, whatever, you know, uh, because they knew that there were, there were challenges and shortcomings in the traditional, um, MLM, uh, model, and they knew that they could do better and they, they certainly have. And, you know, there's a video out there where Tyler recorded his, a whole presentation on the, on the differences between our, um, take on, on network marketing and everybody else's and and really the phrase that he coined was ne next level marketing but you know we all know what the product can do the product can do amazing things for our health um and there are some other accolades that are attached to the corporate side they've been voted the number one company to work for in utah for a number of years by the employees you know they're debt free they you know uh they they are science-based and that sort of thing but you know the benefits of of this kind of marketing plan that Nancy and I have have noticed, and we've been talking about it throughout the day, um, you know, network marketing is a is a personal growth plan wrapped up in a business that pays you for personally growing, <laughs> which is you know people spend people spend thousands of dollars to learn the lessons that we learn uh, in this company because of the marketing plan, but you know it's uh, certainly one of the biggest things benefits that I've seen with the CEO was freedom uh, to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. I didn't have to be in the ER for 12 hours a day in order to earn paycheck. Um, I could do this anywhere I wanted to around the world. It's about friends. We didn't have a lot of friends before ASEA because both of us were professionals. We were working our jobs. We had our business jobs related friends, my doctors and Nancy in their dental office, but we didn't have a lot of friends outside of that because we didn't have time to develop those relationships and those relationships are so important in this business model that you develop friends um, as a natural consequence of, of building your network. Um, and you get all kinds of new experiences because of that. You get to go to new places around the world when you win trips or even just working with your organization. Um, and, you know, and helping others to see the see the vision of what what can happen when you build a successful um, ASEA business uh, it can be very enjoyable and very enlightening when you see people, you know, wake up at a at an event uh, and and all of a sudden they take off and they and they see their paychecks growing and so, it, you know, it it's it's benefits that I never had as a physician. I can remember late night conversations with the nurses and they would say, "Gee, Doctor Walker." you make really good money here. You know, I work just as hard as you do. What, what can I do? And I didn't really have any answer other than go to medical school, get a different degree. But now I've got an answer for them because who's going to go back and spend another eight to 12 years to get another degree when they've already got a family brewing, but anybody can start this kind of business and be successful at it and, and reap the benefits, not only of the products themselves, but helping other people you know, um, and also, you know, certainly helping themselves and their family. So, you know, any, anybody that tries to criticize this business model around me doesn't get very far because we've just, uh, you know, I know the, I know the benefits, I know how it works. 
Um, and it's, um, I, I, I don't know of a downside to it, quite frankly. Dick, I know that we were down in um, the Virgin Islands, actually, St. Thomas, I think, and you um, talked about, um, you know, how grateful you were to be able to spend Thanksgiving with your family because of all the years that you worked in the ER, you had to work holidays. And so one of, I mean, you make good money as a doctor, but you didn't have the freedom to choose when you worked and when you didn't work. And so some of that that you had to um, give up was time with your family, especially around the holidays, right? Absolutely. Somebody had to work holidays and you had to choose which ones you were going to work, but you couldn't get away with not working all of them. I mean, you know, you had to, you had to pull shifts during holidays, uh, just like everybody else, even, even if I was the most senior physician there, but um, it was a very uh, democratic sort of a group and I had to work just as hard as everybody else did. So yeah, I never had, I couldn't remember having a full holiday weekend or, you know, or Christmas vacation where I didn't have to um, go in and work in the ER um, after everybody, maybe I worked a lot of nights. So I, after everybody went to bed, I'd go to the ER, <laughs> try to catch Santa Claus on his way out in the morning, you know. <laughs> right. You know, Cindy, uh, if I can just interject here, a lot of times what we're talking about is just ASEA is so many things, and and you realize that if, if you keep at it long enough and learn how to work this business and how to reach out to people and how to uh, reach down inside and, and activate your compassion, but that's just saying, don't just look for people who are sick because people can benefit in many, many, many ways that you can't even imagine. So try not to judge people and don't look for just, for just people who are sick uh, because Dick and I, you know, nobody, few people knew that I had an issue, but I still, you know, nobody thought that we would ever want network marketing. <laughs> you know, we were two professionals and, um, but I've told you this story too, that when we retired, when Dick retired and I, I um, closed my store, uh, we went down to the social security office to apply for social security. And I was flabbergasted, too flabbergasted even to cry or speak. <laughs> but when they told us and they pushed this paper across the, the desk and they said, this is what your monthly payment's going to be for both of us because I, I filed then too. It was not even enough to make our house payment. And I thought to myself, now that is something I had not anticipated. All the years we worked and saved. And um, I thought if Dick had not had the foresight to create a backup plan, which was a SIA, we I don't know what we would do. I don't know what we would have done. Um, at that point. So, you know, no one thought that we needed this business for finance, for finances, but I was sick. We, we indeed did need, uh, need it for finances. And one more comment, I have often thought about this. You can take expensive classes through a guru, or you can figure out who you are by starting in a SIA business. <laughs> and I, I kind I do both, but, but this will really show you who you are because you really have to dig deep and stick with it, but it's worth it. And it's not necessarily who you are. It's, it's what parts of yourself you're actually applying because we all have unlimited capacity, but we, a lot of times we don't get in a situation where we can peel the onion and discover the potential that's hidden inside of us because we don't have a vehicle to really, you know, show off that potential and, and, and discover that potential for ourselves. And sometimes we do certain things and we're like, wow, I had no, I had no idea that I could do that. You know, I I've never done that before. And I was, I, I mean, I'm doing things I've never done before. So it's, that's what you're talking about when it comes to personal growth, right? You're discovering parts of yourself by getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that are uncomfortable just because you've never practiced those things before, right? So it's 
it's a it's a movement it's a community it's a business it's a biotech company it's i mean it's a lot of things it fills a lot of gaps for a lot of people right it's really about it's really about not who you are in the beginning is who you become um as you engage with this uh and it does require you to make changes you know i I related outside of uh, the few friends we had in family, I related to most people as patients. Um, so I had a very limited scope of, of, of how that was. It was, where do you hurt? You know, how long you've been hurting for? It was mostly just to get a, get to a diagnosis so I could help them. But that's social not, skills were lacking. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not really building relationships. In fact, in fact, professionally, you, you weren't supposed to build relationships with patients. And so, um, yeah, I had to learn how to do that. I had to learn how to um, get to know people at a different level. I had to learn the questions to ask people to find out what they really needed beyond where they hurt, so to speak. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it requires growth of everybody, no matter where you start. Uh, and it's a multi-year plan. Don't expect necessarily to learn all that stuff uh, in the first week or two. Um, but it does work. Like Nancy says, if you stick to it long enough, it does work. Just like the product, if you take enough of the product for long enough, it's going to work. Um, it works immediately, but what I mean by that is that you're going to notice that it's working if you take enough long enough, um, where you might not notice that um, immediately. So, um, you know, I know probably more than uh, most about the technology, uh, and and you know, our biggest growth was really mostly figuring out how to do this business model effectively. Um, and build a business around it. And the benefits have just been uh, tremendous. Like I said, the, you know, I can list all kinds of benefits, but if I were to rank them one to 10, um, you know, freedom of lifestyle is, has really been, I think, the number one thing for me that I never would have had. I mean, we did have financial um, issues that we needed to address. And I probably been, would have been, work, I would probably still be working in the ER um, if it weren't for ASEA. Um, at age 73 going on 74, which um, that alone is a scary prospect, <laughs> thinking about how that was. So, I mean, I do it, um, but boy, I'm glad I don't have to. So, And I can help more people this way. I mean, I can help one person. I can help in the ER, you know, we each ran six rooms. And so we were each taking care of five or six people all the time. Um, but in a 12 hour shift, you couldn't take care of more than about maybe 20, maybe 25, if a lot of them were, weren't serious problems, some shifts, it was two or three. Um, but this way I can help thousands of people around the world through the concept of leverage and duplication. And, um, and that's just been a real eye opener for me and, and to develop a residual income where you get paid over and over for work that you did years ago. Um, that's unfathomable in a medical um, profession. So it just, you know, the benefits are just um, almost uh, mind boggling once you really dig into it. Yeah, and as a private ski instructor, I love the fact that you don't have to be a doctor to do this. I mean, we've heard so many stories of a, you know, retired school teacher walking across the parking lot and reaching out to her friend who can't breathe properly and saying, hey, I found some stuff that might help you. And, and you know, as he poo-poos her, are you kidding me? I'm working with the best doctors in the country, and you think you're gonna, you've got some fantastic, you know, snake oil that's gonna, you know, make me, you know, work. And she's like, hey, if you're not open, you're not open. But you know, a lot of people have had good success, and so he tried it. And next thing he knows, he's like, what the heck is this stuff? You know. So I love the fact that the product is is native to the body and let's, and the body starts to wake up and do what it, what it's meant to do because it's now got the tools that it's, that it needs to, um, you know, do what it does best, which is heal itself. So you don't have to have hours in the ER or even in the, in the dental chair, right, Nancy, to, um, to help people with all of their cells. You know, you just, the, the product is that strong and, um, and works on everybody in a different way because everybody's biochemistry is a little different, but yeah. you know, that's, and that's usually the hook that gets people to open their eyes is they have some kind of product experience or they see somebody have a product experience or they hear about somebody having a product experience and they want to know how the heck did that happen. But once they start to open their eyes and look at this, like you guys have il illustrated, it starts to grow as far as, wow, I see as more than that. I mean, as if that wasn't enough that you solved a problem that was really slowing somebody down, but you know, or the, 
where the body was able to finally solve a problem that it, you know, that it had. But now there was all these other issues and, and benefits that you get by being part of ASEA. I mean, we've been to some of the best beaches on the planet together, and we <laughs> would have never done that had we not started to build an ASEA business. And we're not even financially benefiting from one another, right? But we've just become really good friends and gone on some really cool trips because we're part of this movement called ASEA. Right. Yeah. You know, we I, I tell people you all, you all have the best doctor in the world working for you 24-7. I, I call it your inner doctor. Um, and your inner doctor, which ASEA activates and facilitates in many different ways, um, is really, even when you're dealing with conventional medicine, it's your inner doctor that does the healing. It's your inner doctor that corrects things. All, all we do as MDs is you know, tweak around the edges, maybe you give you some medicine that can have an, a, a specific effect on this, that, or the other thing, but what we, what we do with the CS, so you're okay, you can all kind of play uh, a doctor to your own doctor or help others do that, but you're just really helping your own body to heal and repair itself. Um, and quite frankly, I had a pretty good understanding and appreciation for the power of a person's ability to heal. Um, but I can tell you, working with ASEA, that appreciation is is thousands of fold bigger because I've seen things happen when you simply restore um, redox balance and throw a few extra signaling molecules in. I've seen things that I could never do or no other doctor could do with anything that they were working with. Um, and so when when we talk about talking about ASEA to doctors, it just breaks my heart when they're too hard headed, too hard headed to pause and take a look at it because um, they just don't know what they're missing, you know. Well, it will take a, it will take um, something in their life, like Cindy said, either a health challenge for themselves or someone they love to, to get them to look at it. Yeah, I would say that most of the doctors that I know in ASEA and other health professionals are here because of an experience that someone close to them had which really opened up their eyes to, to say to themselves, gee, maybe I ought to take a look at this. Um, and that's what got their attention. So don't give up. Um, try, to, try to find ways that, uh, that people can have experiences and that's gonna open them up and getting them to events is gonna open them up um, because they're gonna rub shoulders with somebody that they've never met before that's gonna come up and tell them how this has helped them and how exciting the products and the business are and, why they wouldn't be there if it weren't for a CEO, that sort of thing. That's the power of going to a, uh, an event instead of just being on a, on a webinar like this. Yeah, absolutely. You get to meet so many people and the, you know, I just remember that my first event that I went to, you know, I started talking to people about their different experiences and I got this vision of what a CEO was. And like you said, it's, it's so many things you know, and people were talking not just about their project experiences. They were talking about that, you know, this incredible um, life enhancing thing that came their way called ASEA and the physical benefits was part of it, but the social benefits were part of it, the personal growth benefits, the financial benefits, the freedom benefits, the, you know, the being the, the being the captain of your own time, as opposed to a passenger on somebody else's boat, telling them, you know, having somebody else tell you which way to go. Um, it's just, I mean, it, it has changed people's lives in so many ways and really, really, truly been a force for good in the world in, in, in so many ways. So um, yeah, any final ideas or, or thoughts that you've had about um, how ASEA can enhance people's lives um, from in, in any aspect that we've talked about? Well, I can tell you that the only way this is gonna work for you is to get involved, um, at least become a product user um, and, and you know engage, find out from the person who's talking to you and ask you to, to watch this tonight, find out how to get involved, find out what to do next. Um, and because if, if all you do is receive this information and never act on it, it's not going to change your life. Um, and I don't know what, what your issues are, everybody that's watching, but I know that you all have one. Uh, and I would just say, if you don't do something about it to move uh, in a direction towards improving that, what's going to happen? Where are you going to be six months or six years from now? Um, it, it does require change. 
Um, but I can tell you that that uh, there's really no risk involved with with uh, with engaging with this, uh, both the the technology and the business model. Um, just join in. Just find out what you need to do and stick your toe in the water and give it a try. It, uh, it, there's nothing here that's going to hurt you. Uh, and the benefits are can be tremendous for you and, and for those your family and those around you. Yeah, I would just say have have the courage to um, to take action. And uh, I can't think of anything else when you think about Virtus Norton, a big, powerful stri strategy, uh, you know, strategic businessman. And then you've got somebody like Dick, this um, a, a professional doctor for many, many years. I mean, there isn't anything in the world that I can think of that would change those two men. And uh, when they think about how much they've changed deep down inside, it brings them to tears. So this is powerful in, and you just have to find out what, what part it's gonna play in your life and how it's going to be powerful in your life. Yeah, I know that um, when uh, Virtus turned down the offer from the pharmaceutical company, the story I heard is that he went golfing with four people that he'd been playing golf with in Park City for a while. And this guy had heard their molecule conversation and he finally said, so how are you gonna market these molecules anyway? This would be the perfect. This would be the perfect product for network marketing. And Virtus said, "Network marketing isn't that something you do out of the back of your car, or, you know, in your garage? It's not a very professional business model, is it?" And he said, "What if you've been living under a rock? The internet changed all that." He said, "You go do proper due diligence on the industry of network marketing, the business model of network marketing, and so you give Virtus a challenge like that, and he's going to do it. And he did a honest due diligence on the business model of network marketing." and realize that that's how the product was naturally organically shared when they um, gave it to the 40 people and it spread without any financial incentive and without you know any any money involved at all exactly so, yeah so um you know and when there's people that that are when, once people understand the business model it's almost it's hard to think about doing business almost any other way but there's so many people that have never taken the time to really do the due diligence and understand the business model that there's all kinds of crazy ideas that people have in their head. But this, you know, if when understood properly and when when next level marketing is actually practiced, this is the most honest way of getting a product to the marketplace uh, because you're not going to tell people about something that you really don't believe in. I mean, you're you're not going to last very long. You're going to you know give it up and go another direction. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being on tonight and for um, opening our eyes about, you know, how many aspects um, of life ASEA can touch. Really appreciate both of you and uh, really appreciate you taking time to share your thoughts on the Zoom tonight. You bet. Thanks for inviting us, Cindy. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.